Hey everyone, my name is Erica Garcia and I'm a research associate here in the Arachnology Lab at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. I just received my PhD and I work on camel spiders and part of my work includes um, a revision of camel spiders. So what I'm working on right now is re revising a small genus and what I use to, to um, determine what's the species and what maybe might be the same species, so species that were described um, about 60 years ago. Um, is DNA. So what we do is we sequence um, some of the museum samples and we try to figure out what are the DNA differences between some of the samples um, that can maybe uh, help us to determine what is a species. And what we do with this DNA is we build something like this called a phylogeny. So the, what the phylogeny is is essentially a family tree to figure out what's related to what. Um, and this is one tool that we use to determine what is a species. Um, another thing that we do to take into consideration is um, we look at their morphology. So this is an example of the male closer morphology. Males use the their their closer or their mouth parts to insert sperm into the female, um, and oftentimes they vary. So these are sexually selected characters, um, and sometimes they can vary drastically between a species. Another thing that we can uh, take into consideration is where they live. So this group primarily lives in the desert southwest. And as you can see from some of these pictures is that they can occur in different habitat types. Some populations may exist in dune habitats. Um, others maybe uh, exist in more um, traditional desert um, habitats or sometimes like wet canyon habitats as well. Yeah, something we don't really know a lot of information, and so what we do is we use museum records to determine maybe when adults um, emerge throughout the year or when they might be underground overwintering. Um, but yeah, that's what I do.